Dakota, I just want you to yes. know that I think you're cooler than Tony for not flaking out. Tony. Caddy. Yeah? Yeah, for not flaking out. Oh, thank you. I, I don't will. Think that's a, a high bar, but. <laughs> I will sincer sincerely suggest, even if you don't care about technically doing well, quote unquote, at least drive a few laps in quality mode before it starts. No, I told you, I'm not going to do quality mode. <laughs> Are you just going to skip qualifying? No, I'll do qualifying. Okay, well. Uh oh. Yeah, a thirty point two. If you could, if you could do like twenty nines consistently, you'll be competitive. Mm, I don't know about that. Oh, I hope we don't split. I'm nervous now. It's gonna suck if we do. What's the, what's it usually split at? Twenty five. Well, the IR. Oh. Um. It usually doesn't split. So who the fuck knows? Uh, yeah, basically. Basically. I would say IR is probably. Honestly, probably like. Yeah. I, who, really it just depends on who joins the last time it split it split around 1700 okay splitting is mostly just sad aj my lab oh. okay i know you're fine <laughs> I love this track. I could do without the long piece, but <laughs> it's still good. Come on. <laughs> it's such a road it's such a road thing to to do this long piece. Makes it more feel like a like a road track. Mm, no. <laughs> Makes it feel more like a go-kart track. <laughs> I thought go kart tracks were the best. For go karts, yeah. <laughs> I think you are figuring it out, though. Twenty nine. Why did NASCAR pave the uh, the entry to the final chicane grass colored on the inside? It's astroturf. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But it's just super grippy for race cars. That's uh, astroturf for you. That's why. It, that's did why. It, it, did they get rid of it? Nope, still there. Oh, it's astroturf. Okay. Is that for, like, in case NASCAR drivers make mistakes there or something? Yep. Okay. Because with the splitters, the Ooh. grass uh. has a tendency of completely Digging in. Ripping, the, yeah, yeah. ripping the fronts off the car. That guy was not going the right way on the track. Who? Max Carlton Wong? Oh, yeah. His name sounds familiar. I don't know why. Yeah. Same here. Is he like a high... There's sometimes like some of the really, really high I rating people, like the really pro people, would show up just to think like they can probably just walk away with an easy win. Not knowing there's freaks like me and Olivia probably hiring this car. So he might be one of those people. I have no idea though. Yeah, that's my first lap in this car since waking up. 
Good Q lab, James. Thank you. I love the chicane. It's so like butt clenchy. There we go. Twenty-eight-five. I'm already on. I'm already on pace. I'll do pre uh, quality practice. I thought some of that was a little bit of draft help from Dakota. <sighs> what are we at right now? Nineteen. Oh, Hank Yan. Hank Yan. Welcome. JJ. This is this other chap with us is named Dakota. He is, he is, he is a good friend. Hello there. Hello. Thank Have you we for... raced together before? I don't believe so. Have not, no. Alexei has raced with Dakota, though. Yeah. Alexei is doing this, but he says he doesn't want to be in VC because he wants to focus. The, the name rings a bell, but... Uh... It, I Who talk about uh, I talk Robert Wickens guy. <laughs> I know <laughs> I talk about Dakota a lot because he's team he's part of Team Race First. I don't know if that's still a team anymore. <laughs> Is it more just Team Stowe? Pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna jump on the qualifying set. That's going to be important, especially with Olivia here. <clears throat> oh. uh, heads up, Hank Yan. So this server, I use this server for playing normal games. So this is basically all of my... I mean, there's some, like, normal, normie gamers here who don't play sim racing. But for uh -huh. the most part, this is, like, my sim racing friends that plays, like, other games. And then use, and then we sometimes use the server to, like, voice chat in other games when we're not playing iRacing. So that's what the server's for. I know Alexei likes his, uh, Bioware RPGs. Yeah. I think you play Counter-Strike, right, Hank Yan? Yeah, sometimes. <sighs> Alright, well... That is... That could be pulled, James. What lap time is? Uh, James put in a 24-7. Nice. I'm gonna guess that's that's competitive for pole. I'm not really gonna care about too much about pole. Quality mode, yeah. Dakota said the same thing. I know that overtaking is difficult here, but... Eh. 
it's easier for people to fuck up, and then when people fuck up, that's yeah. easy to overtake. Exactly. <laughs> so, honestly, yeah, just be confident and race. Yep. Let's try not to uh, be the wrong way around him before turn two and then... Yep. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Got a slow car on the rack. Go left. Good luck, everybody. We didn't split. Our way. Yay. Will I start before the chicane this time? <laughs> I wonder what Alexi thinks of this layout. Yeah, you have to ask him. <laughs> Where is Robert Wickens? Oh, uh, maybe he I, maybe he left. Maybe he didn't sign up for the for the race. I saw no, I saw him sign up for the race. This happens a lot with the mission R, where a lot of people would sign up for the race and then they would like do practice laps and then dip. Yeah. He he didn't seem specifically fast, although he did do twenty nines, which probably. No, maybe he's so, he didn't realize he's, he, he, signed, had, uh... he, he signed up for practice. So that's mm -hmm. that explains that. Maybe he just tried it, and I was like, "Oh, I'm he still five like... seconds off the pace." Yeah, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people get upset with that way too. Also, um, he's still in practice, so maybe he ended to sign up and forgot. That happens a lot with iRacing. Yeah, I gave you the role, by the way. Disconnect. You could just jump straight into, just jump straight into Iris. The voice. Yeah, I gave Alexi the roll too. No Sam. I wonder what Alexi's pace is going to be. By the way. By the way, Hankian, Dakota um was Dakota watched our uh Coliseum race. Oh, that uh mm hmm Oh, qualifying. I guess good luck everybody. Yep, good luck. Good luck.
God damn it, James. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I had Ooh. a lower 24. Oh, I had a lower 24, but I fucked up in the chicane. I pushed it too much. So that's what I counted for a handful of tenths lost. I... <laughs> I was tracking, I was oh, tracking a 24-3, and I took it, I ended up taking it easy yeah. during, through the bus stop. Yeah, my, my optimal is a 24-4, so that, that was done on the, on the lap just now. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, well. I beat Alexei. You did! <laughs> you did! Oh, uh, oh, I gotta say my stream. Maybe it's his uh, second lap? No, yeah, it's, it is his second lap. I had a, I had a wall touch in yeah. the second lap. But you should have seen my, uh, my bust up in the second lap. I had a massive save there. I went nicely airborne.
I think Sam. I think Sam didn't. Uh, Sam didn't come for this round, unfortunately. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Being around the outside of Indica is going to be a little scary. Yeah. This is uncharted territory. The juicy Olivia yeah. has won too. So this is good. We'll probably have a good race. Am I the number two car again? Yeah. I actually like the number two on this on this car. And with this paint. I have a very bad number. <laughs> is it high? <laughs> David de Dallara. It's it's above average. <laughs> it's high but not too high. It's exactly the wrong one. The sustaining start? Yes. Yep. So yeah. you floor it and you just go into gear, that's it. You go into gear up when the when the light goes green. That's it. You don't need to so worry. So just full throttle neutral. Yep. Yep. Full throttle or neutral, and then just click up to one, and then you, yeah, that's it. No okay. wheel spin, no nothing, no bogs. It's that's just it. It's very straightforward. I'm on the hmm. outside of Alexi. This is um, scary um, as well. Interesting. It's interesting. What I do is I just shift into first, do nothing, and then as soon as the lights go green, then I stomp on it. I think both things might work. Yeah. Both things does work, but I think I, I always take a simpler approach for standing starts. I'm not sure which one Don't forget to activate the uh, traction control more. Don't forget to move your brake bias back. Oh. Somebody Why? is not, uh, the car is understeery on cold tires. <clears throat> okay. Also understeery on old tires. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody missed a grid. All right, good luck, everybody. <clears throat> green, green, green. Alexi. Who cars just jumped to start? <laughs> yeah, Alexi jumped. <laughs> Understeer, right, James? Yep. Good save, James. I have completely forgotten how to fucking take that corner all of a sudden. I'm not gonna dive you. There's an incident behind. Right side. You're in second. Next car is the leader. Clear on the right. Thank you, James. Yep. Somebody wreck? Yes. Apparently. Behind me. At least they have a four second gap now. Indeed. Oh god, it's very different when you're leading. Yep.
You can tell when people fuck up in that chicane. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. I just broke uh, too much. I think Hayward just that crashed. Yep. Yeah. Who crashed? Hayward. Hayward. Olivia. Olivia. That's awesome. Oh shit. Yeah, she's my champ rival right now. Oh. Okay, that was close. She crashed. Again? Yeah, he's in the pits. Or he's serving a drive through penalty. Oh, yeah, that's right. As long as none of us crash, then I don't care. Alexi's not in here. <laughs> not, not in voice chat, not our friends. Savage. Behind me just crash. Whatever happens, James, debut podium or first podium. Hopefully, provided I don't die like an idiot. You can also beat Thor. You did that at Retzkogen. Maybe you crashed again. Not having a good time. You folks still going well, right? Yeah. Yep. Oops. Got you. Spoke too soon? I just brushed the wall and exit. Hopefully I didn't do anything. Games had a front row view of it. David is also ripped. Right. 
I have no one within seven seconds of me in both directions. <laughs> well, people will wreck. There's an incident behind. Something happened, James? Yeah, the f oh, no. fucking lap car got in the way and I fucking hit him and spun. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, James. He just fucking parked it in the corner. That sucks. Yeah, I'm down to fucking, like, seventh now. Yeah, he did the same thing to me, kind of. Yaroslav, right? Yeah. Dude. I don't know what, what he's doing. He's at like a 150 in practice. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he legitimately just looked like a grandma out there. Yeah, he just parked right in the fucking middle of the corner. Like, no effort to get out of the way, and there was nothing I could do. Sorry, James. I'm so fucking pissed off. Still got places you can make up. Again? No, not wreck, just spawn. <laughs> Went too hot into the corner, sliding on the rears. We're in a podium position. <laughs> yeah, I'm five fucking seconds from the podium. I want to fucking murder something. You can, you can do it. We still got half of the race to go. And then his stupid bitch ass has the nerve to be shocked when people are calling him out. Yeah. The spice one? I look forward to the complaint grid. Indeed. Looks like Thor lost it too. Because he's behind yeah. Indicon. Tires are fucking toast from the spin, though. I'm not even sure if I'm able to get lane at this rate. Don't push too hard, but just like, just kind of keep driving because other people are struggling with tires as well. Maybe but just pressure him into an unforced error. Yeah. 
People will spin. The car behind is closing on you. The gap is 7.1 seconds. Low car ahead. Every time I'm in the infield, my spotter keeps telling me the car behind me is closing, but Yeah, same for me. It's just then, I think it I think it's just a distance that it wasn't um coded very it well. It might be it might be because uh, they think we're driving a normal layout. Yep, I think so. I'm trying to figure out why everyone pulls away from me on the straight, and my brake seems to be like set at 10%, no matter what. Why? Oh. Oh. So, yeah. My pedals need to be recalibrated, I guess. Good, uh, good catch. Yeah. By the way, Dave Payton told me that he doesn't know how to take the hairpin at Long Beach. For this coming FSS. Well, that'll be fun to watch. Yeah. He says the last time he did it, he needed to do a three-point turn. Like each lap he did it. Oh <laughs> my gosh. The car behind is closing on you. The gas is I'm lapping Yaroslav again. Car on the right. Still left. Man, Alexi has these at base, but he's just a left behind. Line. This guy is dangerous. He almost Stay hit me. Right. Oh. Not that that's surprising. Yaroslav? Yeah. He went wide on the entry to the back stretch and then Just cut down on me. Again. He almost doored me. Yeah. Like, I also went on his inside and then. He somehow, turns down, right? He, like, he turns in. Yeah. You know. Stupid. He, he's. It's like he doesn't even know you can go in the banking. Yeah, exactly. It's like he thinks that there's like a 1x there or something.
Oh my. Whoa. You okay? Ooh. Well, somebody went very weirdly at the chicane. <laughs> and Yaroslav slowed down in the middle of the yeah. final banking corner. One minute 50 lap time is a weapon here. He's a driving chicane, literally. You can get the podium, James. I believe in you. I would have had it, but fucking... Yeah. You're, fucking you're right, lane. You're right there. Still awesome result, I would say. We got two more laps. Like, I would have been ahead of him a while ago, but he fucking pinched me on the entry of turn one and almost fucking took us both out. And then insisted on sticking his nose in when I was passing him in the front stretch of the cane and again almost took us out. I won't ex uh, I won't complain. Sorry. I just lost the spot, but I'm catching up to Yaroslav. <laughs> Come on, buddy, help me out. <laughs> And I fucking lost the spot back to Thor because of that. Come on, Mr. Pylon. One more lap, fella. Yeah, like, my hopes of the podium are really fucking gone now. We got one full lap left, James. I'm not gonna fucking get that. I'm like a second off of him. Oh. Oh. Okay. You're all slow. Break check me. <laughs> <laughs> well. Once for all of us. No, and I can't pass him because I'm down on speed right now. Oh, are you oh fucking kidding that me? sucks. Oh, the V wrecked, so I got a spot back. Nice. Oh, I think Amy is not showing up today. That's who we were missing. Oh, yeah. Would have been 20, but it's okay. 19 is good, actually. I wrecked into chicane, but I still <laughs> limped it home. <laughs> this car is fucked. So glad this was on the final lap that I did this. Did you win? Yes, I did. Nice. I wrecked into chicane, but I just I kept it straight. The car is super. Oh, I'm sorry, James. No thanks, for, thanks for the race, everybody. Indica Lane, uh, podium interview is available for you if you wish to take it. Just jump in the cooldown room. Everybody else, thanks for coming. I uh, hope to see you again next week. Those of you who are new, we do this every Sunday. Um, so this slot uh, on Sundays um, goes official with a grid this big. Uh, I'll share the link one last time for our community. Please feel free to join. We organize stuff in there and, and chat amongst ourselves there as well. Thanks, JJ. They say you cut the car. Ooh, what a race. Dakota Henkian, thanks so much for coming.
I will, I will be back here because I, I want to do a little bit more iRacing. I'm supposed to be practicing with James on Shock, but I'll be doing like more stuff. Um, Lol. But yeah, if you're not back here, then the, I bid the both of you farewell. But good racing. Thanks again. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Our race winner first, and if they pop in, then we'll we'll bring them in. But uh, regardless, always great to get to talk to JJ Wang. We talked to him last night from P2 at the LA Coliseum. His P1 may be as expected here for the fifth time this season, uh, but had to do it from third on the starting grid. So uh, not, an, not an easy Sunday drive for you to take the win here today. Congratulations, nonetheless. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, no, the um, I think everybody's, you know, Im improving bit by bit from week to week. Um, the, honestly, like 24s are really fast in Q mode. I did kind of mess up a little bit in the final chicane, but when I saw that I had a 20, 24, I didn't, I didn't think, um, I didn't think I'd be down <laughs> from the front row, honestly, but it, it's a testament to Indica and James who are improving so much. Um, beating both me and Olivia is not, it's not, uh, it's not easy. So yeah, but really, um, I had a lot of confidence in race mode. Um, that was definitely my better mode for this weekend. So that poor hamster. So, um, yeah, the, uh, I, I, I don't want to say I wasn't too concerned, but I knew that I needed to get the moves done. And for me and testing, uh, here with me and James, I knew I had like some legs on James. So I'm just happy it worked out. You know, the death chicane is not, a, you know, it's kind of a roll of the dice sometimes. Um, so yeah, just, you know, just worked out. So pleased about that for sure. When you finally make the pass on James, you find yourself at the front of the field. Um, I mean, what, what changes in your mindset knowing that the, this is a, a track that demands focus and respect, um, maybe more than any other uh, that we'll go to this season? Yeah, uh, honestly, with with the track like this, I'm, st I'm still focused on kind of building a gap. Um, not doing anything too reckless, you know, if, if Olivia was right behind me or anybody else for that matter. Or if um, I'm chasing somebody down, obviously I would push, you know, a couple percentage more. But really, I'm as, I'm still quite close to 100%. Um, just because you never know what happens with any of the long turns or the chicane. Um, I I actually <laughs> wrecked on the final lap in that backstretch chicane, but because of the kind of gap that I had, I could just you know just nurse it to a few more corners. So stuff like that will happen. Um, I've seen people. In officials, this was really popular for officials this week. Um, I've seen people with 15 second leads just, you know, wreck and have a hard time recovering from that chicane and lose the lose the win completely. So, um, yeah, it's 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 a track that you you just can't rest even if you have a gap because um, you you just never know when something might happen as as it did with James, unfortunately. Uh, Matt, what do you got? 
Yeah, that was kind of going to be my question. First of all, congrats on the race win. But um, you mentioned you made the move early uh, to get to second, which was absolutely necessary here. Um, you know, always a tough to pass in these cars. But you get up to James, you're running him down, you're kind of sitting right behind him. Unfortunately, he has that issue. But is there a spot on the track that you were kind of eyeing to make that pass on him? Had you kind of uh, seen the crack in the armor already to make a move? Yeah, um, the final chicane is probably where I think I'm the best at. Just looking at people in practice, judging from officials, um, it's a weird place to pass, but um, it's I I have a lot of confidence just with the car over the curbs, um, and I seem to just get better runs through there. So I knew if I had a place to pass, it, it was either going to be exiting of that chicane or into turn one. Um, I think James knew it as well. Um, he had a terrible exit and um, he, he didn't let me go, but he did just he was quite polite through there. I, I thanked him over the radio for it. Um, so probably I would say really that's kind of the only corner I'm like looking at. Um, everywhere else would probably be a really tough spot to try and make for a dive, but it, it's possible. Um, I have to watch the broadcast back, but I'm sure there's quite a bit of side-by-side -side, um, <laughs> throughout. Uh, yeah, uh, for sure. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, one of the more interesting ones to watch back, I would say. But uh, regardless... Uh, apologies to you. Matt said it multiple times, but uh, you did not get a whole lot of airtime tonight, despite being the race leader. Uh, but uh, you get all the airtime now. Uh, so congrats on the win and uh, shout outs for you as usual. Yeah, um, big shout out to James. I would make a joke about Ovos versus Road, but James had a really terrible night. Um, yeah. Some of the back markers were just kind of really unsafe tonight. Um, and it, it bit him, unfortunately. Um, but I would thank him for, you know, coming out. He said in the interview yesterday that he was improving. I, I hope that showed he, he has really grown a lot as a as a road racer in these cars specifically. Um, so I, I look forward to him, you know, continuing running with, with me and maybe hopefully getting that first podium. Um, big shout out to the Promix Flame guys who are my R Factor 2 teams. They they uh, they're looking to come out. Uh, once in a while, but they just got really busy. Um, I know Hank Yen specifically is actually looking to put a program together for next season. So um, big shout out to them for coming out for this Roval. Um, and for really the entire grid for kind of making it out here. Um, 20 cars, 19, 20 cars is, uh, it's, it's, it's quite fun with, with these things, uh, especially uh, at night. Um, big shout out to, of course, you, the broadcasters for putting on a good show. And uh, yeah, uh, in general, just thanks a lot to my team. Um, once again, uh, Jeff uh, has been instrumental in helping me figure out this car and uh, it, it just kind of get the settings right and in race mode. So I'm happy to get the uh, the tin can TWR car um, up front for, for Jeff. Well, congrats on the win. Uh, we'll uh, get you another one next week at the Nürburgring. But uh, uh, go party hard. We'll uh, talk to you again here soon. Thanks so much. Thanks.